Hello everybody, uh, today we're going to do something a little different uh, that isn't fishing related but it is outdoor related so here it is. What you see in front of you is a groundhog. Now why do I have a groundhog? Well several reasons. One, uh, I wanted to try to taste a small game. Uh, this is a great example of small game. Uh, I was actually able to get a hookup from a uh, uh, a local friend uh, who uh, has a big farm and he's a hunter uh, and uh, he was able to bag this groundhog for me uh, so I could try it. Uh, so I was able to take it out with a 22 and uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to get that on video because it happened very quickly but he brought it over to me right away and uh, we're gonna fillet it. Uh, kind of. Alright. We're, we're, we're gonna clean it out and we're definitely gonna cook it and uh, give it a try and see how it is. I, I hear it's actually pretty good. A um, couple little facts about the groundhog, uh, besides uh, commonly known as a groundhog, it's also called the woodchuck uh, and it's also called the whistle pig and I've actually heard them make like a whistling noise when they run away so the name is actually very appropriate. This is a good sized representation of a groundhog uh, which uh, by the way is a part of the, of the squirrel family and so this is actually the biggest ground squirrel in the United States, in North America. Uh, so if anything it should taste similar to squirrel which I've never had but I hear it's pretty good and I hear that it's also a bit of, has a flavor similar to uh, rabbit so uh, we're gonna give this a shot alright so uh, we're gonna get started in the cleaning process and then we're gonna see how we're gonna cook it up uh, not sure exactly yet how we're gonna cook it up might put it in the slow cooker or do something else with it but um, let's get started alright first off I am not going to save the, uh, the the fur or anything like that so we're not gonna be doing a really careful job of doing this uh, from what I've seen you can treat it like a rabbit where you can make an incision here in the back and then you can start to remove the uh, skin right off so we're gonna start off with that All right. grab a bit of the uh, skin here a nice flap of skin which is nice and uh, loose make an incision right there cut out Okay, we exposed, oh, we cut in a little bit more here, there we go. Now that we've done that, we should be able to start to tear away at it and, and make it bigger. There we go, it should kind of tear away. And we're gonna continue this process to try to remove as much of it as we can. Uh, use a fillet knife if we have to to cut away at it. And we'll continue to do that until we get this all the way around the body. This guy is still pretty fresh, so uh, I think it's actually a little bit more difficult to uh, take it off, so we might have to just skin him out. It's a good amount of uh, fat on this guy. He's been eating well. I mean, uh, from what... Uh, uh, oh, by the way, thank you, John, for getting me this, this uh, groundhog. From what he tells me... Um, he, he did do quite a bit of damage to his garden, so it was a pest that needed to uh, go away. So if anything, this guy should be nice and fat enough from uh, all the tomatoes and cucumbers that uh, he ate. Alright, so we're going to continue to work our way down. Keep going around the belly. By the way, this is my first time uh, ever cleaning out a uh, uh, a small 
mammal. So let me know if I'm doing a, an okay job. I'm used to filleting fish, not the uh, big rodents. the uh, skin away from the body.
Okay, now that we got pretty much the majority of the uh, skin off the animal, it's down to the uh, its feet. We're just gonna cut off at the feet and cut off at the head, and then we're just gonna remove the guts, and uh, we're gonna rinse this guy off, and uh, meat looks really good. It, uh, yeah, looks like rabbit. So uh, let's remove the feet. Okay. Okay, we'll remove the head. Okay. All right. Only thing left to remove here is the guts. We're gonna break through the uh, rib cage here. There we go. I'm gonna try to carefully open up. The gut pocket. Don't want to cut into the uh, intestines. Oh yeah, there you go. Isn't that lovely? Cut the diaphragm. Right there. Grab the esophagus. I'm going to pull away at all the organs. <sighs> Try to keep it together as much as possible. <sighs> so we can remove everything all together. There we go. Carefully pull that all that out. I'm gonna drip it over the side here, where it can drop into our uh, bucket. There we go. Quite a bit of, of uh, fat on this guy. He was definitely uh, 
beating well, that's for sure. Okay, there we go. One clean groundhog. Let's uh, rinse this guy off and uh, should be good to go here. So I brought the groundhog indoors and um, I rinsed it off completely as best as possible. Uh, there was some hair stuck on the meat which I had to uh, pick off and uh, I also trimmed away more fat since uh, this, this guy was pretty fatty. Um, and afterwards I patted it dry uh, as best as possible and I figured the best way to cut this guy would be to uh, cut him up into pieces uh, to pour him up and oh. to make him whole. Uh, so I used up my fillet knife once more and I started to remove uh, the legs, no. the hind legs first and uh, it really wasn't any different than like cutting up a chicken. Um, basically just cut down to the uh, ball joint. Uh, if you can, pop the ball, ball joint out and uh, the uh, whole leg comes off pretty easily. Um, and uh, as you can see, uh, it's, each, each of its legs is basically the size of a chicken leg too. So I got some pretty good meat out of this. I got a couple pounds of meat from this uh, groundhog. Uh, I ended up also cutting away the belly meat and um, cutting away the, uh, the loins still attached to the uh, backbone. Uh, remove the front legs the same way as the back legs um, again they were actually easier to remove than the back legs and uh, also just you know separated the ribs uh, all, all out uh, so I figured this would be the easiest way to cook these guys up um, uh, I hope you enjoyed this like I said this is my first time ever handling a small mammal uh, cut up uh, birds before they're easy enough uh, and this was uh, something special, something I really wanted to try for some time now. And hopefully in the future I'll get to try, uh, you know, wild rabbit and squirrel and, and other things like that. If I do, um, I'll definitely get it all on film. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for part two where uh, I cook it up and, um, uh, and you see how I used up all the meat in this. Uh, so everything here did not go to waste. So uh, stay tuned for that. And like I said, hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe, you know, give this video a like, give it a dislike, leave a comment below if you think I did a good job or I know I could have done things a little bit better, I know that much. Uh, comment below what do you think uh, would have been a better way to uh, uh, clean this guy up and, and cut him up and everything. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, in the meantime, tight lines everybody. Como Elvis.